Today, I'm going to show you the easiest way to start a song. You guys seem to like my last video where I started a song with a vocal, but today we are going to be using an even simpler method that is just as effective. Step one is to start with a sound that has good rhythm or movement. I'm using this sound that I made with X for Serum. This is the Mighty Pulse sound from my new pack below. It's easily my favorite, most inspiring sound I've ever used. Now all we have to do is pick any two notes with this sound and just let it repeat. I'm gonna pick this note here and run it so we get this. And now is the fun part. We have to create an interval. An interval is any spread of two notes and every interval has a different vibe. And it's the vibe of this interval that's gonna drive the creation of our song. Typically, if I'm going for a more sad or deep song, I'll use a minor third interval like this, which is a spread of three semitones. See, it's got like a serious vibe. And if I'm going for something happy, I'll almost always use a perfect fifth interval or a spread of notes that's seven semitones. I get such a cheery vibe from that. Mind you, every set of two notes played together sounds different. So be very selective about picking an interval to start your song with. Now it's time to pick a new sound and create a bass harmony with this interval. And my only goal here is to come up with something that sounds good. And since my interval sounds more happy or upbeat, I do want my harmony to sound happy and upbeat too. That sounds pretty good, but if I built my song with that progression, I think I would get bored with it. So I'm gonna go again. That's like exactly what I want to hear right now. So once I get a harmony I like, now we build the chords and we got a song going. I'm going to copy my bass harmony, click, and drag up seven semitones. And then I'm going to complete the triad by pasting the notes in the middle of each of these chords. These chords are a little bunched up, so I'm just going to grab some of these notes and spread them out. You just don't come by sounds that are that emotionally effective. Now that we're in our feels, I'm gonna go ahead and add a subtle percussion loop to help set some pace. And back into the moon wake pack, we go. That one's it. It's nice and light. I'm gonna grab another loop to put on top of that. That has my seal of approval. Let's get a bass sound. That's the one. I'm gonna go to the bottom of these chords and just copy that note. I'm gonna paste it as my bass line. I'm gonna grab this vocal sample and make a nice atmospheric melody. 
Chop it up so we can rearrange it. This is so yes. This is sounding like yes. I'm gonna arrange this a little bit. So now I have two sections, the intro, and then I'm gonna make the build up here. I'm gonna add a drum roll for this section here. Yes. I feel like with build ups, you either go for like a mainstream cheesy sound or something like more organic. And I'm gonna go organic. Clap time. Let's take clap A. With this clap, I'm gonna create a polyrhythmic buildup. Meaning I'm just gonna build a different rhythm that coexists with these drums here. We'll speed up the pace of the claps here. We need an ARP. I'm going to use this as a tension building ARP, so it's going to come in when the buildup starts. Effects. Transition sweeps. Yeah, let's grab another one. All right guys, I went ahead and started playing around with a drop idea. So I took the chord sound and I made it into this cool rhythm for the drop. I did edit the original chord preset to sound like this and I will make sure to add both versions of this sound to the Moonwake pack. Alright guys, here's our little EDM tune. 